Here is a short demonstration of the computer using mobile sheets. I have turned the computer on and I did my login and now we will take mobile sheets which is the little blue circle at the bottom of the screen we'll click on it one time and that'll bring up mobile sheets and if you look at the top left hand corner it'll show recent and it shows 10 so there's been 10 songs that have been played recently so if you wanted to go back and you're practicing certain ones that it would be real easy to find them you can also clear this list right here on the right hand side in the blue area now let's go back over to songs and in songs up here on the left hand side it says that there's 1,653 songs in your mobile sheets library to pick from. You can scroll down using your mouse, just scrolling the roller ball, and pick a song. Once you pick it, you can go back. And now let's go down on the right hand side, you'll see an alphabet and let's go to the M's and let's go to this one make the world go away and you can play it that is how quick it is to find and play a song now if you notice this song has three pages so it's designated on the bottom but there's also a note on the second page that tells me that to turn the page with this you can turn the page at any time you're on your second page of playing because what it's going to do is change the first page that you've done playing so when you get down to your last note you come up here and you play and finish the song and if you hit the pedal one more time page turner it'll go back to the beginning again Up here is where you can add notes to the music. If you wanted to add text to it, or erase something, uh, erase what you've added or add different things, there's all sorts of things you can do to up here. With the arrow on the le top left, will take you back to your song list of where you left off. Over at the top right hand side three little dots will bring up if you needed to find something out you can pull up a full manual or a short user manual and here's the user manual short one so if you had questions you might find it here you might have to go to the full manual now we'll go back down to mobile sheets. If you wanted to add a song, you would do an import. And as you can see, you, there's different ways to import it from a local file, a Dropbox, a OneDrive, a batch import, and so on. If you need to make any changes, which you shouldn't just get started, it's in settings. And as you can see, there's lots of different settings for it, the storage area, the library, display, and so on. Right now, it is set up so you should be able to just pick a song and play. The monitor is a 24-inch monitor, which displays two full-size sheets of music, as you can see and what it takes cabling wise for the monitor is an HDMI cable which is provided and an AC cable which is provided so those two cable one plugs into the AC <laughs> and the HDMI plugs into the back of the computer in the HDMI port of the computer 
in the computer, it has that HDMI cable plugged in and an AC cable plugged in. And only one other item would be the page turner, which is a USB. And I recommend the USB that plugs into the back of the computer. You never have to worry about batteries or charging it or your Bluetooth coming uh, undone when uh, you're trying to hook everything up. This uh, just seems to never fail this way. So you have that USB cable, an HDMI cable, and an AC cable that plug in to the back of the computer. You turn it on, you log in, you click on mobile sheets icon and you're playing. I dedicate a computer to my organs so that I don't worry about the computer slowing down, getting hacked, uh, whatever the other problems are. It's dedicated to my organ to display music and you shouldn't have any other problems with it then. Thank you.